Discerning Imminent Calamity. For the next few minutes, I want to talk about stock market timing. Can you time the market and get out before a big downturn? There's a common belief that you can't, and the correct investing approach is to buy and hold. So let's look at a brief history of buy and hold. Here are the last six decades, the last 60 years of the S&P 500, and we see the annual performance in each of those decades. We see that for three of those decades, the return was pretty respectable, but for the 60s through 1979, it was mediocre, and of course 2000 was uh, a negative return for the decade. So buy and hold has worked about half the time, and that's all. And if I looked at the 40s, that was mediocre at best, and you know the 30s were bad, so half the time is, is really pretty charitable. So what will the 10s decade bring? If you look at the world around us with high unemployment, uh, rising taxes, incredible deficit and national debt, and the sovereign wealth issues in Europe, it's very unlikely that the coming decade will be like the 80s. It's much more likely that it would be like the 70s or the 2000s with single digit or, or, or lower annual returns. Those decades were similar with periods of advancing markets and a couple of nasty downturns. But if you knew those downturns were coming, you could get out of the market and go to cash or even gold. But can you see the downturn coming? Can you discern imminent calamity? Fortunately, the answer is yes. Here's a chart of the S&P 500 for the, for the last 10 years, from about 2000 to the summer of 2010. On it, we've drawn a green line, which is the 50-day moving average. It's the average of the last 50 days of closing prices. And the 200-day moving average is in blue, and that's the average of the last 200 days of moving, 200, the average of the last 200 uh, closing prices. So what we're going to do in this exercise is anytime the green line crosses below the blue line, we'll get out of the market completely. We'll go to cash or gold or CDs or something like that. And so we'll get out right there and we'll get back in the market when the green line goes back above the blue line. You can see what we're doing. And when the green line goes back below the blue line, we'll get out there and we'll get back in when the green line goes back up right there. And it's worth pointing out that in the summer of 2010, we've got a cross working right there uh, that we should be aware of. And it's also worth pointing out that there are a couple of times when we would be in and out of the market in a, a few months, but that only happened uh, twice during the 10-year period. So what we've got here is we would be out of the market for these two years and then we would be back in the market for the five years here and we would be out for this downturn here. We would have completely avoided the tech bubble in 2001 and 2002 and we would have completely avoided the real estate credit crunch in 2008. Now this is a course indicator but it worked very well in the 70s and in the 2000s decade. And if you had used this in the last decade, you would have almost doubled your money for the decade rather than taking a 13% loss like everybody else did. With some more advanced techniques such as using inverse funds, inverse mutual funds that profit from a downturn, you could have done even better. So the next time you hear someone say, buy and hold, you can't time the market, well now you know better. That's what wealth direction is all about. It's cutting edge investing training for the post 2008 world. I hope you'll join us by subscribing to our free newsletter, grabbing the wealth direction guidebook, or jumping into the wealth direction course. You can visit us at getwealthdirection.com.